biological classification since the dawn of civilization there have been many attempts to classify living organism it was done instinctively not using criteria that were scientific but born out of a need to use organism for our own use for food shelter and clothing aristotle was the earliest to attempt a more scientific basis for classification he used simple morphological characters to classify plants into trees shrubs and herbs he also divided animals into two groups those which had red blood and those that did not in linear time a two kingdom system of classification with plantae and animalia kingdom was developed that included all plants and animals respectively the system didn't distinguish between the eukaryotes and prokaryotes unicellular and multicellular organisms and photosynthetic green algae and non photosynthetic fungi and organisms classification of organisms into plants and animals was easily done and was easy to understand but a large number of organisms did not fall into either category hence the two kingdom classification used for a long time was found inadequate besides gross morphology a need was also felt for including other characteristics like cell structure nature of wall mode of nutrition habitat method of reproduction evolutionary relationships etc classification system for the living organism have hence undergone several changes over the time though the plants and animal kingdom have never have been a constant under all different systems the understanding of what groups organism be included under these kingdoms have been changing the number and nature of other kingdoms have also been understood differently by different scientists over the time table 2.1 characteristics of five kingdoms characters cell type monera prokaryotic protista eukaryotic fungi eukaryotic plantae eukaryotic animalia eukaryotic cell wall monera non cellulosic polysaccharide plus amino acid protista present in some fungi present with chitin and plantae present cellulose animalia absent nuclear membrane monera absent protista present fungi present plantae present animalia present body organization monera cellular protista cellular fungi multicellular loose tissue plantae tissue organ or animalia tissue organ either organ system mode of nutrition monera autotrophic chemosynthetic and photosynthetic and heterotrophic saprophytic parasitic protista autotrophic photosynthetic and heterotrophic fungi heterotrophic saprophytic parasitic plantae autotrophic photosynthetic or animalia heterotrophic holozoic saprophytic etc R H Whitaker 1969 proposed a five kingdom classification the kingdoms defined by him were named monera protista fungi plantae and animalia the main criteria for classification used by him include cell structure body organization mode of nutrition reproductions and phylogenetic relationship in table 2.1 gives a comparative count of different characteristics of the five kingdom the three domain system has also been proposed that divides the kingdom monera into two domains leaving the remaining eukaryotic organisms kingdoms in the third domain and there we a six kingdom classification you will learn about this system in detail at higher class let us look at this five kingdom classification to understand the issue and considerations the influence that influence the classification system a little classification system include bacteria blue green algae fungi mosses ferns gymnosperms and the angiosperm under plants this correct that unified this whole kingdom was that all the organisms included had a cell wall in their cells this placed together groups which widely differed in other characteristics it brought together that the prokaryotic bacteria and the blue green algae cyanobacteria with other groups which were eukaryotic it also grouped together the unicellular organisms and the multi multicellular ones say for example chlamydomonas and spirogyra were placed together under algae the classification did not differentiate between the heterotrophic group fungi and the autotrophic green plants though they also show a characteristic differences in their walls composition fungi had chitin 
in their walls while the green plants had a cellulosic cell wall when such characteristics are considered the fungi were placed in a separate kingdom um, kingdom fungi all prokaryotic organisms were grouped together under, under kingdom monera and the unicellular eukaryotic organisms were placed in kingdom protista kingdom protista has brought together chlamydomonas chlorella earlier placed in algae within plant and both um, having cell walls with paramecium and amoeba which were earlier placed in the animal kingdom of which lack cell wall it has put together organism which in earlier classifications were placed in different kingdoms this happened because the criterion for classification change this kind of changes will take place in future too depending on the improvement in our understanding of characteristics and evolutionary relationships over time an attempt has been made to evolve a classification system which reflects not only the morphological physiological and reproductive similarities but is also phylogenetic is based on evolutionary relationship in this chapter we will study characteristics of kingdom monera protista and fungi of the vitaeca system of classification the vitae the kingdoms plant tree and animalia commonly referred to as plant and animal kingdoms respectively we will be dealt separately in chapter 3 and 4 2.1 kingdom monera bacteria are the sole members of the kingdom monera they are the most abundant microorganism bacteria occur almost everywhere hundreds of bacteria are pre present in a handful of soil they also live in extreme habitats such as hot springs deserts snow and deep oceans where very few other life forms can survive many of them live in or in on other organism as parasites bacteria are grouped under four categories based on their shape the spherical coccus the rod shaped bacillus the comma shaped vibrio and the sp spiral shaped uh, spirulum Though the bacterial structure is very simple, they are very complex in behavior compared to many other organisms. Bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversity. Some of the bacteria are autotrophic. They synthesize their own food from inorganic substrates. They may be photosynthetic, autotrophic, or chemosynthetic, autotrophic. The vast majority of bacteria are heterotrophs. They depend on their organism or on dead organic matter for food. 2.1.1 Archaea bacteria. These bacteria are special since they live in some of the most harsh habitats such as extreme salty areas, halophiles, hot springs, thermosidophiles, and marshy area methanogens. Archaea bacteria differ from other bacteria in having a different cell wall structure, and this feature is responsible for their survival in extreme conditions. Methanogens are present in the gut of several ruminant animals such as cow and buffalo, and they are responsible for the production of methane biogas from the dung of these animals 2.1.2 u bacteria there are thousands of different u bacteria or true bacteria they are characterized by the presence of a rigid cell wall and if motile of flagellum the cyanobacteria also referred to as a blue green algae have chlorophyll a similar to green plants and are photosynthetic autotrophs the cyanobacteria are unicellular, colonial, or filamentous, freshwater or marine or terrestrial algae. The colonies are generally surrounded by gelatinous sheath. They often form blooms in polluted water bodies. Some of these organisms can fix atmospheric nitrogen in special large cells called heterocysts. Example Nostroc and Anabena. Chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria oxidize various inorganic substances such as nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia and use the released energy for their ATP production. They play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, and sulfur. Heterotrophic bacteria are the most abundant in nature. The majority are important decomposers. Many of them have a significant impact on human affairs. They are helpful in making cut from milk production of antibiotics fixing nitrogen in legumes roots etc some are pathogens causing damage to human being uh, crops from animals and pets in cholera typhoid tetanus citrus sanker or well known disease uh, caused by different bacteria bacteria reproduce mainly by fission sometimes under unfavorable condition they produce spores they also reproduce by a sort of sexual reproduction by adopting a primitive type of dna transfer from one bacterium to the other the mycoplasma are organism that completely lack a cell wall. They are, are the small they are the smallest living cell known and can survive without oxygen. Many mycoplasma are pathogenic in animals and plants. Point two Kingdom Protista. 
all single cell eukaryotes are placed under protista but the boundaries of these kingdoms are not well defined what may be a photosynthetic protista to be one biologist may be a plant to another in this book we include chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans under protista member of protista are primarily aquatic this animal forms are linked with other dealing with others dealing with plants animals and fungi being eukaryotes the protistan cell body contains a well defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelles some have flagella or cilia protista reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation 2.2.1 chrysophyta this in group includes diatoms and golden algae desmid they are found in fresh water as well as in marine environment they are microscopic and float passively in water currents plankton most of them are photosynthetic in diatoms the cell wall forms two thin overlapping cells which fit together as in a soap box the walls are embedded with silica and thus the walls are indestructible the diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposits in their habitat this accumulation over billions of years is referred to as diatomaceous earth being greedy the soil is used in polishing filtration of oil and syrups diatoms are the chief producers in the ocean 2.2.2 dinoflagellates these organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic they appear yellow green brown blue or red depending on the main pigments present in their cells the cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on the outer surface most of them have two flagella one lies longitudinally and other transversely in a furrow between the wall plates very often red dinoflagellates example gonia ulex undergo such rapid multiplication and that they make them see appear red red types toxins released by such large numbers may even kill other marine animals such as fishes 2.2.3 3 euglenoids majority of them is are fresh water organisms found in stagnant water instead of a cell wall they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible they have two flagella a short and a long one though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other small organisms interestingly the pigments of euglenoids are identical to those present in higher plants example euglena 2.2.4 slime molds slime molds are saprophytic protista the body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing organic material under suitable condition they form an aggregation called plasmodium which may grow and spread over several feet during unfavorable condition the plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips the spores possess true walls they are extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse conditions the spores are dispersed by air currents protozoan 2.2 2.2.5 protozoans all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predator or parasites they are believed to be primitive relatives of animals there are four major groups of protozoans amoeboid protozoans these organisms live in fresh water sea water or moist soil they move and capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia false feet is in amoeba marine forms have silica cell on the surface some of them such as ant amoeba are parasites flagellated protozoans the members of these groups are either free living or parasitic they have flagella the parasitic forms cause disease such as sleeping sickness example trypnosoma ciliated protozoans they and these are aquatic actively moving organism because of the presence of thousands of cilia they have a cavity gullet that opens to the outside of the cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of cilium now causes the water laden with food to be stirred into the gullet example paramecium sporozoans this is includes diverse organisms that have an infectious spores like stage in their life cycle the most notorious is plasmodium malarial parasite which causes malaria a disease which has a staggering effect on human population 2.3 kingdom fungi the fungi constitute a 
यूनिक किंगडम ऑफ हेट्रोट्रॉफिक ऑर्गेनिज्म दे सो अ ग्रेट डाइवर्सिटी इन मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड हैबिटेट वैन योर ब्रेड डेवलप्स अ मोल और योर ऑरेंज रॉड्स इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ फंजाई द कॉमन मशरूम यू ईट एंड टोडोस्टोल्स आर ऑल्सो फंजाई वाइट स्पॉट सीन ऑन मस्टर्ड लीव्स आर ड्यू टू पैरासिटिक फंगस सम यूनिसेलुलर फंजाई एग्जाम्पल ईस्ट और यूज टू मेक ब्रेड एंड बेयर अदर फंजाई कॉज डिजीजेज इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स वी ट्रस्ट Causing Puccinia is an important example. Some are the source of antibiotics. Example: Penicillium. Fungi are cosmopolitan and occur in air, water, soil, and on animals and plants. They prefer to grow in warm and humid places. Have you ever wondered why we keep food in the refrigerator? Yes, it is to prevent food from going bad due to bacterial or fungal infections. With the exception of yeast, which are unicellular fungi or filamentous, their bodies consist of long, slender, thread-like structure called hyphae. The network of hyphae is known as mycelium. Some hyphae are continuous tube filled with multi-nucleated cytoplasm. These are called cynocytic hyphae. Others have septa or cross walls in their hyphae. The cell walls of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides. Most fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrates and hence are called saprophytes those that depend on living plants and animals are called parasites they can also live as symbionts in association with algae as lichens and with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza Reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means fragmentation fusion and budding asexual reproduction is by spores called conidia or sporangio sporange, spores or juice spores and sexual reproduction is by oospores ascospores and basidiospores the various spores are produced in distinct structures called fruiting bodies the sexual cycle involves the following three steps first fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non motile gametes called plasmogamy second fusion of two nuclei called karyogamy third meiosis in zygote resulting in haploid spores when a fungus reproduces sexually two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuses fuse in some fungi the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells 2n however in other fungi ascomycetes and basidiomycetes and intervening dikaryotic stage n plus n two nuclei per cell occur such a condition is called a dikaryon and the phase is called dikaryo phase of fungus later the parental nuclei fuse and the cell become diploid the fungi form fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs leading to formation of haploid spores the morphology of the mycelium mode of spores formation and fruiting body from the basis for the division of the kingdom into various classes 2.3.1 phycomycetes members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitats and on decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants the mycelium is aseptic and cynocytic asexual reproduction takes place by juice spores motile or by planospores non motile these spores are endogenously produced in sporangium Zygospores are formed by fusion of two gametes, and these gametes are similar in morphology. Isogamous or dissimilar, and isogamous or oogamous. Some common examples are mucor, rhizopus, the prade mold mentioned earlier, and um, albugo, the parasitic fungi on mustard. 2.3.2 Ascomycetes, commonly known as sac fungi, the Ascomycetes or unicellular example yeast, Saccharomyces or multicellular example Penicillium. They are saprophytic, decomposers, parasitic or coprophyllous, growing on dung. Mycelium is branched and septed. The asexual spores are conidia produced exogenously on the special mycelium called conidiophores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores. which are produced endogenously in sac like esci a uh, singular ascus this esci are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps some examples are aspergillus claviceps and neurospora neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work many members like morels and buffels are edible and are considered delicacies
2.3.3 Bacteriomycetes Commonly known forms of bacteriomycetes are mushrooms, bracket fungi, or pop balls. They grow in soil, on logs, and tree stumps, and in living plant bodies as parasites. Example, rust and smuts. The mycelium is branched and septed. The asexual spores are generally not found, but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common. The sex organs are absent, but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotypes. The resultant structure is dicaryotic, which ultimately gives rise to bestium. Karyogamy and meiosis takes place in the bestium, producing four bestiospores. The bestiospores are exogenously produced in the bestium. The bestia are arranged in fruiting bodies called bestiocarps. Some common members are agricus, mushroom, ustilago, smut, and puccinia rust fungus. 2.3.4 Deutromycetes, commonly known as imperfect fungi, because only the asexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known. When the sexual forms of these fungi are discovered, they were moved into classes they rightly belong to. It is also possible that the asexual and vegetative stages have been given one name placed under Deutromycetes, and the sexual stage another, and placed under another class. Later, when the linkage were established, the fungi were correctly identified and moved out. Out of deutromycetes. Once perfect sexual stage of members of deutromycetes were discovered, they were often moved to ascomycetes and vestiomycetes. The deutromycetes reproduce only by asexual spores known as conidia. The mycelium is septate and branched. Some members are saprophytes or parasites, parasites, while a large number of them are decomposers of litter and help in mineral cycling. Some examples are alternaria, coletotrichum, and trichoderma. 2.4 Kingdom Planty Kingdom Planty includes all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called plants. A few members are partially heterotropic, such as the insectivorous plants or parasites, bladderwort, and Phoenus flytrap are examples of insectivorous plants, and Cascata is a parasite. The plant cells have an eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplast and cell wall mainly made up of cellulose. You will study the eukaryotic cell structure in detail in chapter 8. Plants in, in planting includes algae, bryophyta, tidophyta, gymnosperm, and angiosperm. Life cycle of plant has two distinct phases, the diploid sporophytic and the haploid gametophytic that alternate with each other. The length of the haploid and diploid phase and whether these phases are free living or dependent on others vary among different groups in plants. This phenomena is called alternation of generation. We will study further details of this kingdom in chapter 3. 2.5 Kingdom Animalia This kingdom is characterized by the heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and their cells lack cell walls. They directly or indirectly depend on plants for food. They digest their food in an internal cavity and stores food reserve as glycogen or fat. Their mode of nutrition is holozoic by ingestion of food. They follow a definite growth pattern and grow into adults that have a definite shape and size. Higher forms show elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanisms. Most of them are capable of locomotion. The sexual reproduction is by copulation of male and female followed by embryological development. Silent features of various phyla are described in chapter 4. 2.6 virus, viroids, and lichens. In the five kingdom classification of Whitaker, there is no mention of some acellular organism like viruses and viroids and lichens. These are briefly introduced here. All of us who have suffered the ill effects of common cold or flu know what effects viruses uh, can have on us. Even if we do not associate it out with our condition, viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not truly living. If we understand living as those organisms that have a cell structure, the virus are non-cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell. Once they infect a cell, they take over the machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves, killing the host. Would you call viruses living or non-living? The name virus that means venom or poisonous fluid was given by Pasteur T.J. Ivanovsky, 1892, recognized certain microbes as causal organism of the mosaic disease of tobacco. These were found to be smaller than bacteria because they pass through bacteria-proof filters. M. W. Bezernik, 1898, demonstrated that the extract of the infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and called the fluid as contagium 
विवम फ्लूडम इन्फेक्शियस लिविंग फ्लूड डब्ल्यू एन स्ट्रेन ने नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव सो दैट वायरसेज कुड भी क्रिस्टलाइज एंड क्रिस्टल्स कंसिस्ट लार्जली ऑफ प्रोटीन्स दर इनर्ट आउटसाइड दर अ स्पेसिफिक होस्ट सेल वायरसेज और ऑब्लिकेट पैरासाइट्स इन एडिशन टू प्रोटीन्स वायरसेज ऑल्सो कंटेंट जेनेटिक मटेरियल दैट कुड भी आई दर आर एन ए और डी एन ए नो वायरस कंटेंट्स बोथ आर एन ए एंड डी एन ए इन ए वायरस इज अ न्यूक्लो प्रोटीन एंड द जेनेटिक मटेरियल इज इन्फेक्शियस इन जनरल वायरसेज दैट इन्फेक्ट प्लांट्स हैव सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए एंड वायरसेज दैट इन्फेक्ट एनिमल्स हैव आई दर सिंगल और डबल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए और डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए बैक्टीरियल वायरसेज और बैक्टीरियो फेजेज वायरसेज दैट इन्फेक्ट द बैक्टीरिया और यूजली डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए वायरसेज द प्रोटीन कोट कॉल्ड कैप्सिड मेड अप ऑफ स्मॉल सब यूनिट्स कॉल्ड कैप्सोमेयर्स प्रोटेक्ट द न्यूक्लिक एसिड देश कैप्सोमेयर्स आर अरेंज इन हेलिकल और पॉलिस हेड्रल जोमेट्रिक फॉर्म्स वायरसेज कॉजेज डिजीज लाइक मॉम्स स्मॉल पॉक्स हर्ब इज एंड इन्फ्लुएंजा एड्स इन ह्यूमन्स इज ऑल्सो कॉज बाई अ वायरस इन प्लांट्स द सिम्टम्स कैन बी मोजैक फॉर्मेशन लीफ रोलिंग एंड गर्लिंग येलोइंग एंड वेन क्लियरिंग ड्रॉफिंग एंड स्टंटेड ग्रोथ वायरॉयड्स इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन टी ओ डायनर डिस्कवर्ड अ न्यू इन्फेक्शियस एजेंट दैट वॉज स्मॉलर दैन वायरस इज एंड कॉज पोटैटो स्पिंडल ट्यूबर डिजीज इट वॉज फाउंड टू बी ए फ्री आर एन ए इट लैक द प्रोटीन कोट दैट इज फाउंड इन वायरस इज हैंस द नेम वायरॉयड द आर एन ए ऑफ द वायरॉयड वॉज ऑफ लो मोलिकुलर वेट लाइक एंड स्क लाइक इन सर सिम्बोटिक एसोसिएशन म्यूचुअल यूजफुल एसोसिएशन बिटवीन एलगी एंड फंजाइन द एलगल कंपोनेंट इज नॉन एज फाइकोबायोट एंड फंगल कंपोनेंट एज माइकोबायोट विच आर आटोट्रॉफिक एंड हेट्रोट्रॉफिक रिस्पेक्टिवली एलगी प्रिपेयर फूड फॉर फंजाय एंड फंजाय प्रोवाइड सेल्टर एंड एब्जॉर्व मिनरल न्यूट्रियट्स एंड वाटर फॉर इट्स पार्टनर सो क्लोज इज देर एसोसिएशन दैट इफ वन सो ए लाइक इन इन नेचर वन वुड नेवर इमेजिन दैट दे हैड टू डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म विद इन दैम लाइक इन सर वेरी गुड पॉल्यूशन इंडिकेटर्स they do not grow in polluted areas